Hey everyone, how's it going? Brian here. And today we're gonna to be making a desktop application using Java. Sorry, beginning my paper in the background. I got some notes here for what I need to talk about. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be working with Java FX, which is a native Java library. So you don't need to download anything, uh, any packages or you know zip files. It's all included in Java. And if you have never set up Eclipse before, which is the window we're in right now, or this is your first time programming, I would very, very highly suggest checking out my beginner programming series that's for brand new programmers that have never programmed anything before in their entire lives, uh, because this series where we make the application kind of depends on you knowing what a variable is and a method and, you know, some basic stuff like that. It's not an advanced series by any means, but you should know the basics of programming. Um, real quick before we start, I also want to say that you can check out this series on my website, IndieProgrammer.com, where I'll have a text version. Every time an episode goes up on YouTube, there'll be a text version on IndieProgrammer.com because I know some people learn better via text or other people learn better via watching and uh, voice. So I have both of those up there as options to help as many people as possible learn this. And as some of you may know, this entire channel is supported by Patreon. So feel free to check out IndieProgrammer.com slash Patreon. There's perks there like checking out the source code or downloading the source code, extra textures and packages and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. You can watch early episodes a few weeks in advance. Super fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously make a new project. So go to File, New, Java Project. And I'm just going to name this something super boring or should be cool. Desktop Application. That's cool, right? Now inside of here, we're going to make a new class in the source folder. New class. I'm going to name it Main. And this is going to contain the entry point for our program. So if you've ever worked Java before, you should know that that is always, or almost always, public static void main takes arguments of a string array called args and open bracket, close bracket. Now, by default, every single program, every single game that runs in Java will start in this method right here. Uh, so that's why we have that written right there. You may have selected options in Eclipse that automatically put that for you. If so, that's fine. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some variables. Now, we need a couple variables to get a window up and running using JavaFX. Um, I don't remember if I already mentioned this, but JavaFX is pretty much the inbuilt library in Java that can make these applications super easy and super clean uh, while still allowing a lot of customization. I chose this to make an application with because it works on Mac and Windows and Linux, assuming you have uh, Java installed, and also because it's kind of a newer, better version of the old swing which Java used. So we're going to use a private border pane named layout and a private scene named scene. So there's pretty much three variables we're working with in this video. Uh, a layout, a scene, oops I misspelled that, and also a stage. Now a stage we don't actually need to declare ourselves. Uh, it will be available to us by extending our class main. So go to the top here, and after public class main, we're going to type in extends application. Okay, now don't worry about these errors for now. Now, if we go up here, you we're going to kind of split the viewers right here half and half, 50-50. You will either see what I'm seeing right now, or you'll have an option to import javafx.application.application. If you're in the latter group, just hold on, hold tight for one second, and if you're like me and you see what I see, then this is how you fix that, okay? If you go over here, you'll see the same thing. Create class border pane, create class scene. It's not recognizing that these are actual classes that already exist in JavaFX. And the reason that is, is because we're actually working with the newest version, uh, Java 8, as of this video. Uh, this should work with Java 9 and 10, so don't worry if you're in the future. Hello from 2016. The way we fix this is by going to right-click our project over here in the Explorer, go down to Properties, Java Build Path, Libraries, expand this right here, and here we have access rules, okay? So by default, don't ask me why, uh, but in Java 8, at, this, at least in this specific version I'm using, and you might be using too, uh, JavaFX is not accessible by default, so we need to make a new rule. So highlight that, go to Edit, Add, and Resolution, we don't want to forbid anything, and we don't want to discourage anything, we want to make something accessible. So click accessible here, Java FX slash, and then star star or two asterisks. 
Okay? So hit OK there, hit OK there, and hit OK here. And if you did that correctly, we should now be able to import application. So you can import that there, import this down here, and import this over here. Uh, optionally, you can press Control shift o to automatically import everything. I do it manually just to make sure that it's correct for the video, but feel free to go ahead and do that. Now we have another error that we didn't have before. So if we scroll over our main class here, it says the type main must implement the inherited abstract method application.start stage. Now what that means is because we're extending application, which is an interface, it expects us to implement certain methods for it to work, otherwise it won't work. So we can either write it ourselves or we can go ahead and click right here, add unimplemented methods. I'm gonna do that, it's a little bit quicker and delete this line here. And now the error is gone. We got no errors in our class anymore. Make sure you're caught up to this point in the video and you have no errors. Uh, we successfully enabled JavaFX for our project so we can import these things here and we added the method that we needed to add to get rid of that error there. So now start here is, you know, if main is the entry point to our Java program, start is the entry point to our, to our window or our desktop application that we're building here. So this is where we're gonna initialize all of our cool code. So we'll start with the layout. Layout equals new border pane. And it can take some arguments, but we'll just leave it default now. The default border pane is fine. Uh, border pane is one type of layout. There are multiple types of layouts for JavaFX applications. I will go over every single layout possible in a future video. But for now, we're gonna do border pane. Scene. There's a reason we did the layout first, and that's because scene takes a layout type, like border pane, as an argument. So layout, and the next two arguments are integers, or maybe they're doubles or floats, but they're numbers, and it's the width and height of your window. So feel free to do whatever you want. I'll do something that's obvious to see on the screen that it actually works, so 450 width and 80 height. Okay? Now the next thing we need to do here, as you can see, we're getting an argument in our start method here. It's passing arg zero. Uh, I'm gonna change that to something a little bit more human-like and name it window. Now I said earlier that stage is the third variable that we'll be working with in this video. So here it is right here. Name it window. And we're gonna type window dot set scene. We're gonna add our scene that we just created, so scene. And now, the last thing we need to do, at least in this method, is type window.show. If you don't do this, then everything will come out correct and your window will be super cool, but it'll be invisible and you can't see it. So make sure you have window.show. Now, if we run this, we should see nothing. <laughs> and it's, it's working. Uh, now, something interesting to know if you're new to making applications this way, but you've programmed before, is that our program didn't actually terminate here. So you can see here, we need to click this to terminate our program. Usually, if there's no loop that we create, it'll terminate on its own almost instantly. Uh, but what we don't see here is using the application framework and using the start method, there's actually a loop running in the background or a thread executing commands that we don't actually see for us. Uh, so that's why our program doesn't terminate on its own. Otherwise, we'd make a window and it would terminate immediately and no one wants that. So the very last thing we need to do to show our window is the main method. Because uh, right now, the program enters here, and we're not doing anything, so it ignores all this code here. We need to use a Java method called launch, which we imported with the application framework here. And launch takes args as an argument. Args just being this right here. So now, let's go and run that. And we have our window. Looks pretty cool, huh? This is probably the coolest window that I've ever seen in the last five minutes. So it's resizable by default. You can move it around. It's completely functional on both Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, assuming you have Java installed, you can minimize it, bring it back up, maximize it for your entire screen, and exit it out, and it terminates our program for us. So the next tutorial we're gonna be doing here is, let me just check my notes. We're going to be making a button. So right now our window is pretty cool, right? But there's no content in it. Uh, we're going to be making a button next episode, and that will be pretty exciting, and then we'll continue on from there. So, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to check out IndieProgrammer.com, or if you want to support this series and get some bonus perks, IndieProgrammer.com slash Patreon. 
and I will see you all next time.